guys so i've had multiple questions on um this uh worksheet number 28 it's the practice for naming classifying and adding angles and so i'm gonna do numbers six seven eight and nine for you guys to look at or sorry yeah that's right six seven eight and nine um so let's go through these just for a little extra help so looking at number six says that if measure of angle CDF, so CDF, this angle right here, is 3x plus 14, so we're going to say that this one is 3x plus 14, measure of FDE, so FDE is this one, okay, so I'll use two angle marks to show that they're different angles, uh, different measures, is 5x minus 2, and then the whole angle CDE, so this entire angle here, it says it's 10x minus 18. Okay, so in order to solve for x and find the measure of each angle, we have to see that this entire angle, the big angle, this 10x minus 18, is made up of these two angles, okay? Since it's made up of those two angles, that measure of the big angle is going to be the two smaller angles that make it up added together. So we can take 3x plus 14 and then add it to this 5x minus 2. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take the ones with x on the right side together and the ones without x on the right side together. So we have this 10x minus 18 still on this side equals 3 plus 5x, or 3x plus 5x is going to give you 8x, and then 14 minus 2 is just 12. Now we can add the 18 to the other side, giving us that 10x is equal to 8x plus 30. Okay. And then if we subtract 8x, we get 2x equals 30, which we can divide by 2 to give us that x is equal to 15. So we can go ahead and write that x is equal to 15. Now we have to find the measure for each angle. So we'll go ahead and start from the top here, angle CDF, which we've got written up here is 3x plus 14. So 3 times x we've got is 15 plus 14, we type that in a calculator, we're going to get uh, 59, sorry, so CDF is 59 degrees, angle FDE is 5x minus 2, so 5 times x is 15 minus 2, type that in a calculator, you're going to get 73 degrees, okay, and then angle CDE is this 10x minus 18 here. So 10 times 15, because x is 15, minus 18. Sorry for moving it around so much, didn't think I was going to do that. That's going to give you 132 degrees. Okay, so solve for x and then plug in your answers. Okay, looking at number 7, it doesn't have this x to solve for. So let's just read the problem first. So angle of LMP, so we're looking at angle LMP here, is 11 degrees more than angle NMP. So we take NMP, and this LMP is going to be 11 degrees more. So we take that and we add 11 to get LMP. Okay, and then angle NML is 137. So we know that these two things are true. So we have LMP here is this NMP plus 11. NMP we don't know anything about. And then the entire whole thing here is 137 degrees. Well, this 137 degrees is going to be equal to this NMP plus LMP. But instead of writing angle LMP like this, we know that LMP is equal to to this. So we can erase that LMP and just write angle NMP plus 11. Now all we're trying to do is solve for NMP. So if we add these two together, because we have two of them over here, we have 137 is equal to 2 of angle NMP plus 11. And then we can just solve just as though NMP were a variable. So as though it was an X instead of angle NMP. So we'll subtract 11, giving us 126 equals 2 of angle NMP. 
and then we can divide by 2 to get the angle in MP is equal to 63 degrees. Okay, so we already have this 63 degrees here for NMP. And then we need to figure out what angle LMP is. We just said that angle LMP is NMP plus 11. So we know that NMP is 63 degrees plus 11 would give us 74 degrees. So just take what it gives you and try and put it into an equation. Okay, the word more means you're going to be adding. So we can look at number eight. We can go ahead and guess that if measure of angle ABC, that's what it's giving us, is going to be one degree less than three times measure of ABD. So we have three times ABD, okay? Three of angle ABD. And measure of ABC is going to be one degree less than that. If less is subtraction. You subtract one, one less than that. And then it tells us that angle DBC is 47 degrees. It tells us right there. Okay? So this right here is 47 degrees because it's DBC here. And then ABC, so the whole thing is three of angle ABD minus one. Okay? So we know that ABC, the whole thing, we can go ahead and write that as three of angle ABD minus one is going to be equal to these two added together. Okay? So we have this 47 degrees right here, plus this is angle ABD. Okay? So now we only have one thing that we need to solve for here, angle ABD. I'll go ahead and add the one to the other side and keep this three angle ABD on this side. Equals 48 plus angle ABD. If this were an X, you would just subtract it. So we'll do the same thing. We'll subtract one angle ABD since that's what we're solving for. Okay, so it's still three minus one. That'll give us two of angle ABD is equal to this 48 we still have on this side because these canceled out. And then we can just divide by two to get the angle ABD is equal to 24 degrees. So we can go ahead and write that down here. And now, since we know this, we can say angle ABC is gonna be three times, angle ABD is 24 degrees, and then minus one. So it's one less than three times that angle, okay? If you type that into a calculator, you're going to get 71 degrees. So again, look for keywords like less, three times the angle that you're looking for, and just try and make it into um, an equation. So if it is something, you can put the equal sign, and it's one degree less, so you subtract one from three times measure of ABD. Okay, so now let's look at, lastly, number nine. So QS bisects this ray QS here, bisects this angle PQT. So that means that this angle is going to be the same as this angle. It tells us that SQT, so this one is 8X minus 25. So I can go ahead and say that this one is also 8X minus 25 since these two angles are the same or congruent to one another. And then angle PQT, so this whole angle here is 9x plus 34, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with that. So we know that these two added together, this 8x minus 25 and then the second 8x minus 25 are going to equal this entire angle here. I'm not gonna write it again over here because there's no use to, okay? So the whole entire angle is going to be equal to its parts added up. So if we add these together, we get this 9x 30 plus 34 is going to give us 16x minus 50. Okay, so we'll subtract this 9x. So we have 34 equals 7x minus 50. And then we'll add the 50 to the other side, giving us 84 equals 7x. And then we'll divide by seven giving us 
that x is equal to 12. Okay, now that we have that, we can look at the other ones. So we have here sqr, so this part, this whole thing right here, is 112 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and mark that, but let's look at these things. So angle PQS is the first one. Okay, PQS is this 8x minus 25. X is 12. So if we type that into a calculator, we're going to get 71 degrees. So this one, instead of this 8x minus 25, I'll go ahead and erase that. Both of them are the same, so at least there's 71 degrees, and this one's 71 degrees. Okay, so if we're looking at angle PQT next, PQT, it's going to be both of these two angles added together. So we can go ahead and add 71 plus 71, which is going to give us 142 degrees. Okay. You could also actually take this and plug in 12 to it and you'd get the same answer. And then lastly, we need angle TQR. Okay, so TQR is this one we're looking for here. And so we know that the whole thing is 112. If we subtract the 71, it's going to give us that answer that we need. So we take this 112 of the entire angle and we subtract this part to get the part that we're looking for for this angle. And that's going to give us 41 degrees. So again, just mark your diagram the best you can using the question that it gives you. Um, try and make an equation. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope this helped a lot. Try number 10 on your own. And again, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day and I'll see you guys later.